With the pace of smartphone evolving moving so fast, there's always something waiting in the wings. No sooner have you spied the latest handset than there's anticipation for the next thing. Now here are the phones that are released or to be released in 2020. Microsoft Surface Duo The Microsoft Surface Duo may be one of Microsoft's most unusual experiments. It's a dual-screen Android phone. Microsoft's bringing the Surface Duo to market September 10th, with pre-orders already started. The $1,399 Surface Duo, powered by a modified version of Google's Android software, puts a different spin on the foldable phone trend. Joining Samsung's recently announced Galaxy Z Fold 2, the Galaxy Z Flip, and last year's Motorola Razr Leap. The Surface Duo's hinge is the key difference, bringing together two 5.6-inch screens instead of relying on one massive display that can be folded. Microsoft created the Surface Duo over five years, developing the hinge in a way that's easy to open but hard to accidentally close. The hinge allows the super-thin screens to rotate 360 degrees. Microsoft doesn't want to call the dual-screen Surface Duo a phone. Instead, it wants us to think of this as a new type of product. Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition The Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition is reportedly on the way to replace the Galaxy S10 Lite in Samsung's lineup, and the leaked specs look pretty solid for the price, which would give the company a worthy rival to the upcoming iPhone 12. The original Galaxy S20 remains one of the best Android phones, but not everyone has $999 to drop on a new handset. The Galaxy S20 Fan Edition should be more accessible for consumers who want premium features without the sticker shock. Nokia 7.3 5G Nokia is looking to add another affordable 5G phone to its selection and it's rumored that this phone will use with the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 690 5G hardware or MediaTek Dimensity. Nokia has confirmed it's working on more affordable 5G device and that there will be devices on this new Qualcomm hardware in the future. We are expecting Nokia updates in September 2020. Nokia 9.3 Pure View The word on the street is that Nokia wants to update the Nokia 9, but to get it on, but to get it on Snapdragon 865, it's delaying until later in 2020, most likely in September. That's probably because of the work needed to get the camera system working on new hardware. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 Samsung announced its second foldable smartphone, the Galaxy Z Fold 2. During its unpacked event on August 5, but beyond the quick demonstration of some of its features, the company didn't get too much into what's inside the device. And while we were promised more information about the Galaxy Z Fold 2 on September 1, now, a week earlier, we are getting pretty much everything we need. Apple iPhone 12 Apple is expected to launch a range of iPhone 12 models in September 2020, likely including two sizes of iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro models. It's thought that 5G will be included for the first time, along with a 120Hz display. As always with Apple, reliable leaks have been few. Huawei Mate 40 and Mate 40 Pro Huawei is expected to update its Mate devices in October 2020 with the Mate 40 and Mate 40 Pro. We've not seen a huge number of leaks for these phones, but design leaks suggest a big camera roundel on the rear, the Mate 40 Pro getting a periscope lens on top of the Mate 40's offering. Dual front cameras sit in a punch hole in the curved display. Huawei Mate X2 Huawei's next-gen phone reportedly has the codename Teton and will shift from the design of the original Mate X with the display on the exterior to one of the display on the interior. Google Pixel 5 Google has confirmed it will be launching the 5G Pixel 5 later in the year. But outside of that, Google's next phone has already seen some interesting leaks. There's the suggestion that it will use the Snapdragon 765 to make it more affordable, and it might ditch the Solar Radar tech which had limited functionality. We wouldn't expect to see them until October 2020. Google Pixel 4a 5G 
Google's several attempts at making own branded phones has returned vi few victories, but one of the clear bright spots was last year's Pixel 3a. It turns out that Google's less is more approach really fits well within the constraints of a less expensive phone, and its strengths in software and camera processing stand out against less refined competition. It can be easily argued that its successor, the Pixel 4a, is the more important device for building the Pixel brand than the forthcoming higher-end Pixel 5. And on the face of it, Google did things right this year. It simplified to a single phone, improved the specs, kept a great camera, and dropped $50 of the price. What other phones are you excited to see? Comment down below and also don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out our channel for more videos like this. See you on the next video!